The guy who defended himself in a 2020 attack in Chinatown now has to go to jail while his attackers completely got off. David, this begs the questions. Why is it so hard to find justice when you're Asian? Let's run the clip. It is a ruckus brawl in Chinatown. Two brothers getting pummeled by five men. A relentless beatdown. Watch as one of those brothers, John Ong, eventually grabs a katana blade and slashes one of those five men in the forearm. He's eventually charged with attempted murder. We were being overwhelmed. So listen, guys, I get it. There's multiple sides to this story, but it seems pretty clear that John and Max Ong, the owners of the building, were getting attacked by this group of guys. By the way, these guys are not like street thugs. They're actually like want to be cool kids mm -hmm. you know what i mean like one of them like tries to do like wavy rap now one of them tries the model and the other guys like are di art directors you know you could argue about the retaliation versus over retaliation but clearly they got to attack first i think the biggest thing is andrew that these kids should have caught charges as well yeah i mean we're going to talk about it guys so please hit that like button check out other episodes from the hot pop boys obviously uh, this happened a few years ago, but now the, he's getting convicted, he's getting charged, and now it's kind of resurfacing, and it's enraging the community. Like, ultimately, if you rewatch that video back, you're just like, wait, was this guy just defending himself? His brother gets beat up by a bunch of people, and then they go back in, he gets the blade out, but those guys come back for trouble. No, because they think they're going to yeah. jump him again. Yeah, yeah, those guys come back for trouble. And so, I just, it's crazy that these adult guys, this group of adult men, three white guys and two black guys, it's crazy that none of them got charged and they're full-on adults like I'm, I'm talking about like they were at least in their 20s no i think they had just graduated undergrad yeah like from nyu wake forest these are good colleges like Art we said director school exactly so, and these so something a part of me tells me that these kids are privileged or something the hear me out did a video as well so you know what play his video as a parent if my son did commit a crime i'll let him own up to it i will not defend him saying that my son is innocent your son is not innocent for attacking two Asian men and urinating on their property. You think your son is innocent. Your son is far from innocent. That is a horrible act as a parent. I'm not gonna lie, man. When I saw that John Ong had to plead to 2.5 years in prison, which is not any short period of time, by the way. Yes, let's just say, for example, you get out on good behavior, you do half the time. It's still 15 months in jail when you are initially getting attacked first. Right. So it made me almost wanna go, for a moment, I was like, should Asian guys just move to Singapore or something? Because this mm. is BS. So you're saying, so are you saying that these that non-Asians can come to Chinatown, pee on your building, you tell them to leave and disperse. They won't do it. They can jump you and your brother and then you come out and they come back for more. They F around and find out and then you got to go to jail. Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. Like, is there any justice for Asians in anywhere, especially New York City? Like, there are so many Asians in the city, so many Asians embedded in the city, but yet somehow these kids are so privileged. They're not going to get charged when they were looking for the fight. So, so my- Yeah, they were looking to pick on some Asians. Yeah. In- Chinatown. No, they're not only using physical violence. They were literally using verbal, uh, racial. They were calling them the C word. They were actually saying, I'm going to kill you. So literally. No, they were trying to front like they had weapons on them as yeah, well. Yeah, they're using all the language that could be charged against them for a hate crime. Like literally. So here's my thing, man. Here's my take. John Ong busting out the big blade sword. I can see how he may have to go to jail for like a year for that, right? Just slicing someone with a blade. But I don't understand this. I don't understand how those kids aren't getting charged. Everybody should go to jail for at least a year, right. if not some type of punishment. Like it's crazy. No, they should all get, have permanent charges on their, yeah, they it, should have felonies too. A hundred percent, those are felonies. They should be on their record. So my question is, is it not even on their record? So these kids, what are their names? I mean, we could look up their names. No, we'll no, it's Jeremiah name. Wilkins. He's the guy who got sliced. Actually, the son of a Jamaican diplomat. You got Billy Clayton Miller, I believe is a director from Tish. Dakota Ticelli, also from Tish. Dwight Huey, I heard he's like a like trying to be a, some sort of vibey auto-tune rapper. So you're and saying- And we're going to just show this kid. Yeah, I got his info. We'll all these kids, none of them are going to get charged with anything. Not zero is going to show up on their record is crazy. And that's the insane part of it. And you know why, why it is? It's because of the current political environment. The Asians, we are held to a standard that is almost like unbelievable. Asians commit the least crimes. We get provoked the most. People try to pick on us the most. People try to test us the most because they think we're less manly. And then when we finally boss up because we just can't take it anymore, then we gotta go to jail. You know, it, it goes, but people were referencing a Chinaman's chance which is like from the 1920s in America when Chinese first came to America, where it was like, oh, you got at, a, at that trial, you got a Chinaman's chance 
which means you have no chance. Right. No, I definitely heard that saying a long time ago, like when I was a kid. Like, Let's yeah. just get into the comment section. Somebody said he should have fought the case. Andrew, a lot of people observing this case from far away, they wanted him to fight it and go to jury trial. Let's just explain the process. If he fights the case instead of taking the plea deal, then it goes to a juror trial, right? So that everybody, can, he can get judged and everything like that. But if he loses that, he could face up to 15 years. But if he wins it, then he gets off. Right. In this case, he took kind of the, what was offered, like, hey, plea deal. do 2.5 years, maybe do half of it. You'll do 15 months actually in jail, and then you get out and move on with your life, and you don't spend any money trying to fight the case, correct? Right. So it was a tough decision. I'm not going to tell him what decision he should have made. There's just certain aspects of the justice system in New York that don't make sense to me. Somebody can defend themselves and then they go to jail, and then the other party who's attacking them doesn't go to jail, that makes zero sense to me. Yeah. Also, to be honest, I mean, I think the guy he hit was like the son of a diplomat, too. I, I do think that plays into it. I do think that the liberal side is trying to win certain votes here and there, too, to be honest. And they just, just people do not care about what's right or wrong. They just care about political expediency. Somebody said, of course, the Ong bros are tripping. They were two brothers looking for a problem. Just let them pee and move on. It's not the end of the world. You don't have to let anybody do anything if you own property. He gave him a chance to leave immediately. They chose to jump him and his brother. First of all, I could see there being landowners who just like see him peeing outside of the window and just kind of shake their head and just be like, ah, oh, just let him pee. But if someone comes out and says, yo, that's my property, stop peeing. Usually the fair reaction, even if you are drunk and peeing in the city, you're just like, oh, oh okay, my bad. Yeah, my bad. And then you just leave with your friends. But those guys stood there and picked a fight with them and then picked another fight with them. So that's where I think they should get charged. Other people were talking about the media spin in 2020. The media spin was that these were evil landlords attacking a bunch of hap helpless kids. Crazy. Dude. Yo, they, did you see them jump one of the brothers on the ground and beat him up? Like if someone, if your brother is, or your friend is getting stomped out by multiple people, not in a shoving match, it moved way beyond that. It was literally the guy was on the ground and he's getting kicked and punched. You don't know what can happen. Let me just tell you this. That's life or death right there. In any other ethnic neighborhood in New York City, there's a chance that all five of those guys could have got killed for doing that. All five of those guys testing somebody on their own property, they could all have gotten killed. But now in the Asian community, the guys who are defending themselves got to jail, go to jail. I kid you not. That is literally, literally a probable outcome. I'm not saying 100 out of 100. Somebody just said Jackie Chan wants special treatment. You can't go some a samurai on somebody after the fact. He didn't hunt them down. They came back around. Other people were just talking about how, you know, is the Chinese community going to let this slide here or there? Listen, I'll tell you this. I get it. The katana blade, you could argue it looks bad because it's a little bit of like over retaliation. But all I'm saying is just make it fair. Those guys yeah. jumped him and his brother. They yeah. started the whole thing. Like, wait, so, so give him. So Give him like six months and then time served. I don't know. Give it's him three. crazy because like, like, why you got to do a year? Yeah. I mean, like, you know, I get it. You're not allowed to have guns in New York City, so they, they can't bust out a gun. You can't have a sword. Okay. Can you have a blade? Can you have a bat? What weapon could he have chosen that wouldn't have landed him in jail at all? And why does he have to go to jail at all? But also if he is going to jail, then can the other five go to jail? Like, that's right. crazy to me, you know? Is it because he chose an Asian weapon? Look, literally, is it because he chose an Asian weapon that, like, looks foreign? No. They're I, just like, oh, my God, they're busting out samurai swords. I don't know, man. It seems kind of hard to get justice as an Asian when there's video evidence. Like, this is, like, the most explicit, clear evidence that you can have. Right. You know what I mean? Like, this is not like an unknown case where he say, she say, right? We literally it's have- murky. There's not. It's not like there's missing uh, portions of the footage. We literally, beyond the, beyond the witnesses, we have audio from the 911 call, and then you have video evidence. So I don't get it, guys. I mean, shout out to them, man. I mean, I hope that the time in jail is cut down, you know? This kind of makes you question, like, what, what can you even do to defend yourself? Hey, man, let us know what you guys think of this case in the comment section below. I get it. There are multiple sides and multiple perspectives on this. Of course, I'm literally just saying at the end of the day, if people come to your properly, start a fight with you, disobey like multiple nonviolent orders, jump you, what can you do? Yeah. Let me know in the comment section below. Until next time with the Hot Pop Boys, we out. Peace.